going to get those from his, my grandpa's friend's farm from Combine, his oats. And he's going to come Combine ours tomorrow. So hopefully I can get some video of that. That'll be something different I haven't got on video yet. So we're going to go get those oats and probably do a time lapse on the drive home. It's, it's not too far, but like 30 minutes for the tractor probably. So we take it two wagons at a time. So we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we made it. <clears throat> Two wagons of oats. Get up here and show you them. All right, I'm gonna put this on top of the cab and do a, do a time lapse on the drive home. So I just went to the scale. My grandpa weighed them empty, so then we had to weigh them full to see how much was in there, so we could pay it, obviously. And yeah, we're heading back to the farm now. All right, we got those two wagons home. The total weight with the wagons and the oats inside was 17,680, I think. I have it wrote down somewhere. But, yeah, pretty crazy. A lot of weight. But he's going to come combine our oats tomorrow. We're going to put these two in the shed with the skid loader because that's just the easiest. So that's what we're doing next year. Try to get this one in front of this one here. All right, we're getting a couple other wagons of ours. We're gonna go check the tire pressure and uh, just make sure they're good to go for getting some oats in it. And then we're gonna take them back to where he's gonna be combining. He said, right when the dew is off, he's coming. So we gotta get these wagons ready. We won't have time in the morning, so might as well do it now. All right, we're out here now. He started combining the oats, and there's a lot of volunteer corn in here because last year this was the later planted corn, and since it was so dry, it didn't get very tall. So when we chopped it, a lot of the ears fell off, and now there's a ton of corn in it. So where there's a lot of corn, it's really tough for him to go fast. But up here where there's a lot less, he's going, he's moving pretty good. So yeah. We're gonna try to get some video and see how uh, these combine and oats are going. So he's cutting it pretty high up just to get the oat seeds and the alfalfa underneath is really coming along nicely. But yeah, he's getting into more uh, volunteer corn now, so it's going to be a little tougher there.
right, we got one full load, so we're gonna go in and take that in and put it in the shed. shot of the combine he's got a little bit left in that field should fill one more wagon and maybe half of another one and that'll be perfect all five wagons and a little bit of room to spare all right we got four wagons of oats in here so far fifth one coming in now and we should have one more probably to uh, put in here as well. How's it going, Mace? Good. All right. Got the last full oat wagon. Uncle's getting that one. It's empty. This is in there. But that's it for oats. I'll be mowing this oat stubble sometime next week probably. And then we'll be making... Uh, round bales of straw so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that so it's the day after we did those oats and i'm glad we got them done because our tallest hay fields when it downpoured flattened them pretty good so those oats would have been flat if we didn't get those combine but we have a lot of rain and it's supposed to keep like raining a little bit like this for the rest of this morning a little into the afternoon and maybe more tonight. So there's already three inches of rain. Three inches of rain. Oh my gosh. We needed it. But holy cow, I didn't think we were going to get that much. All right, this is our farm lane. Water's moving really fast through our cornfield there. But looks like I can get to the road here. Not a big deal. But yeah, it's pretty deep here. Here's our creek, definitely overflowing. A little duck in there swimming. But the good thing is the water is not up to the ears yet. And the water looks to be going down from what it was because it's flowing back this way towards the, the creek, so. Our corn on this side is, is pretty good. Yeah, it's not even up to the ears at all, but here, here it's up to the ears on this corn almost, like just under them. And then up here, it's even worse. Here it's a little higher, but ours is it's still not up to the ears, and it looks like the water's going down at least. So as you can see, we got the disc bind on. We're not going to cut hay. We're going to go cut that oat stubble and or lay it out flat. Then we'll rake it. And we're going to round bale the straw. But yeah, that's what we're going to go do. I've never cut oats double before. Can't be that hard. But we'll see, hopefully it's dry enough because we got a lot of rain. We got just over five inches of rain and literally like just southeast of us, like 10 minutes is, is a smaller town. And then just, uh, I don't know, about 30 minutes from us also down there is another town. And they got close to about or like around like 12 inches of rain. There's a lot of, lot of flooding happening, which 
it's very sad because there's a lot of crops that were destroyed and a lot of people's homes that were under not underwater but had water in them to a certain extent so that's too bad we got very fortunate we didn't get that much rain our field so our fields had some water in them because the creek overflowed but not to that extent so all right we're gonna go get cut then All right, just got done cutting the straw, and it looks pretty good. Should dry pretty quick here, and get to baling it here sometime soon, hopefully. So we're raking that straw that I uh, cut, the stubble anyway, but this stuff got quite a bit of rain on it, so it's finally dry enough to do. It won't be the best quality straw, but it's getting round me up. I was hoping to get a lot of video of uh, rake in and uh, him round bailing it, but we're just not going to have time because we're going to be uh, chopping. So, which is that? That's all right. I'd rather be chopping, get that feed made. So, yeah.